Hello, everybody. It's your favorite love witch, Morgaga. <laughs> Thank you all so much for submitting questions. I just love helping out my little bunions with their love woes. <laughs> well, without further ado, let's get started. And a happy Valentine's Day to you all. Oh, here's a good one. It comes from Laney Deanna Kemper. Dear Mogaga, I am waiting for my love to return to me, and I'm getting tired of waiting. Now what? Now what? Now you go out and find him. Well, how long has he been gone? He could be getting eaten by a dragon bear or, or a guffalump. You, you gotta go out and save him if you love him. You can't just leave him there to die. Go, Laney, be a lady of action, like your old Aunt Mogaga. He might be dead. But if he is dead, I'll be happy to pay for that spleen. I need it for, uh, things. Oh, this one doesn't even have a greeting. Rude. Anyway, got a friend, totally not me, who got himself into a relationship with a lady and wants out. How? Again, not me. Well, I usually find that cyanide is the best contingency plan, but that's just me. If I were to give advice to someone non-homicidal, I'd say buy her dinner, let her off, uh, let her off soft. Tell her that it's not really working out, and and she's great, but uh, you two are looking for separate things, and uh, you gotta have some time to discover yourself. And you know, if she has a pitchfork or a sword, you can always run away. You got legs for a reason. Dear Mogaga, perhaps you have some special words of advice for someone without the confidence to ask that very special one out. I do, four to be exact. Rope, duct tape, and persistence. Next question. This one comes from Jesus Illinois Melgoza. Dear Mogaga, what is love? Baby, I'll hurt you. Fancy name though. And here's one from David Sobolov. Dear Mogaga, are red hot cinnamon heart Valentine's Day candies too sadistically spicy to be considered an expression of love? Perplexed in Peoria. <laughs> oh, I get it. Well, Mr. Sobolov, <laughs> I don't think anything's too sadistically spicy to be considered an expression of love. Why, I believe back in grade school on one of my first Valentine's days, I lit a fire under my first crush's chair. I was trying to tell him he had a hot ass, but I don't think he took it that way. And here's one from Sebastian Strand. Fence post, dear Mogaga. My mail order Russian husbands either end up damaged during delivery or escape while I'm at work. Oh, and he put a cute little icon here. It looks like a heart after I'm done with it. <laughs> what do I do? Thank you for the question, hon. Now, how damaged are we talking here? Because I can work with almost anything, but I don't know about you. I mean, as long as the uh, essentials are intact. <laughs> as for the escaping thing, I, I feel you there, too. I found that chain link fences don't really do the trick like they used to, so I've uh, attached little spikes up there and put severed heads of the people who tried to escape before. <laughs> Scares them right back down. Now go out there and make those Russians white, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Hash Brown, dear Mogaga, what should I sing to my special lady on Valentine's Day? Anything from Les Miserables! Shut up, Fluffy! This isn't your show! Though I agree. <laughs> 